Some things just don't go together, like you guys and having hoes or shroud in an hour of my time. But I'm here to talk about the big one, which is NFTs and gaming. There have been several attempts at doing NFT gaming partnerships, all of which have failed, like Discord, Stalker 2, Sega. The list goes on and on and on. Doesn't feel like gamers like NFTs. But for whatever reason, NFT space keeps trying to make it happen. The latest, most successful drop comes from 100 Thieves, who did a free-to-claim championship chain NFT that I think over 300,000 people have since claimed, and it has the carbon impact of sending two emails, which is cool, I guess. I don't know. I like sending emails, I suppose. But that's all to say, at the end of the day, for as many good attempts at NFT gaming combinations that there are, there's a, a whole shitload of bad ones that are following closely behind. And this one, you might have seen, it's the famous live streamer Ice Poseidon, the guy who basically made Twitch IRL and a lot of Twitch what it is today. Um, this clip, I, it just it doesn't need any preamble. You want to keep the money that's not yours, that you took from the project, even though you'd failed to deliver. I mean, I'm not really sure what you want me to say, but yeah. I'm trying to, like get you to return the money because it's a hundred percent still available and you could do that if you want the answer uh yeah i could give the money back it is within my power um but i'm gonna look out for myself and not do that you want to <laughs> that might be the best bar of all time your honor no i don't think so Right? Hey, let's just do a little remake of Avengers Infinity War. But it's Ice Poseidon and stealing $500,000 from his viewers. So yeah, that's 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 what happened. I think since that clip came out and popular, got popularized, he ended up giving back, like, I want to say 60k, 100k. Some amount of money that did not equal the total 500k that he cashed in on. But he gave some of it back as, I don't know, an attempt to save face. I don't think there was a reason to give any back. He He's already a villain in many people's eyes. But, but yes... NFTs. I, 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 I'm, I'm sick of talking about it, but I did watch this amazing video um, called Line Goes Up, The Problems with NFTs, which I'm obviously not going to watch it all here. It's two hours and 18 minutes and 22 seconds. But I implore that every single person who watches this video, if you haven't already, to check this one out. Uh, because as a fellow person, who, who, if this is you, this was me, I am dumb. I think NFTs are cringe. But I can't really tell why. I kind of feel like because it's kind of a scam. But maybe it's bad for the environment, people said. And it's not as good for artists as people allude to. But I, I don't know how to put it in words. This video put it into words for me. That's what it did. It gave me it gave me all the, the fuzzy feelings that, you know what? I was right about that inkling feeling that those darn kids were up to something rotten. Uh, and, and not even to paraphrase the video, but to expand on some of the points. It feels like... Uh, mainstream media and, and people who talk about NFTs day to day are all so jaded and rich and not in touch with society at all. This is this is a real clip that that the Tonight Show posted themselves. They posted this of themselves. We'll just watch a minute of it. I I got I, I jumped in. I know I heard. I'm I, so happy I taught you what they were. You did. Oh no, you I'm on his body. What's up? And then I bought an ape. I got an ape too because I saw you on the show with people and you said you got a moon pay. So I went and I copied you and did the Didn't understand thing. half those words. Mm -hmm. This is your, this That's is your my, ape. Are yeah, we debuting? It's really cool. Like the hat, the shades. Now what, <laughs> how did you pick? Dude, the audience, the audience, uh, they must have had like a big prompt that was like clap. Because they were just staring at it like, uh, and then it was like clap. Because you can pick your, your, your ape. <laughs> yes, I was going through a lot of them, and I was like, I want something that like kind of reminds me of me, but I, I, this one, <laughs> it's, it does. I think does we, it? we made like another. What is, what is it specifically? What is it? Because is, is it like the red fur? Is that? I don't get it. I don't get I don't see it, I guess, Paris. Her version of it where he takes the hat off and blonde hair comes out. Uh, so. Yeah, because you can do it now, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Animated version. <laughs> <laughs> it, feels, it feels like Jimmy's making up the words to say, yeah, because now that you bought it, you can do whatever you want. Unlike my staffing team who right-click saved and printed it out so we could put it on cardboard. We're part of the same no, community. We're yes. both apes. I love it. Uh, here, my, this is my ape. This is yours. 
Yours is so cool. I love the red heart sunglasses. Why are they I laughing? The What's funny? It reminded me of me a little bit because I wear striped shirts. Mm -hmm. I've worn these heart sunglasses because my daughters, just as a joke, they have them, and I, as a joke, I put them on. So I've done this. <laughs> and I love Yacht Rock and being breezy. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Great reasons. Great reasons. But at the end of this day, at the end of the day, it's two millionaires. Two multi-wildly wealthy millionaires flaunting their 250 thousand and three hundred fifty thousand respectively uh prized possessions their digital assets in physical form to a group of viewers who couldn't afford them there's no way that anybody is is buying a, a board ape there's only ten thousand of them in the floor right now like just to get in right now it's two hundred eighty thousand dollars i feel like nfts are only ever touted as a, a, a way to make money but it's usually through like shill bidding and increasing the price of them artificially and then selling them to, to to fool greater fool theory you've probably heard it a thousand times but i don't know man i don't know i feel like celebrities doing crypto is is the cringiest thing but then i got to thinking is that me too all right is am i am i any different because you know we've done a lot of coinbase uh, ads even even last week the smash tournament i did was sponsored by coinbase because they're great people to work with. They let me do whatever the fuck I want. And they pay a shit ton of money that I then was able to make a huge smash tournament with. And in my head, I'm like, way different, dude. <laughs> I mean, this is like just buying Bitcoin and Ethereum, which hold intrinsic value because a lot of people own them. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to be the guy that draws the line right under what he's doing and say NFTs are cringe, but... But, uh, you know, it's it's actually cool to, to invest in crypto because everybody knows it's not after fucking M M Matt Damon ruined History that. History is filled with almosts, with those who almost adventured, who almost achieved, but ultimately, for them, it proved to be too much. Then there are others, the ones who embrace the moment and commit. And in these moments of truth, these men and women, these mere mortals, just like you and me, as they peer over the edge, they calm their minds and steal their nerves with four simple words that have been whispered by the intrepid since the time of the Romans. Fortune favors the brave. crazy that's a crazy ad don't be a fucking loser buy crypto you pussy might as well have just said that you would have saved a lot of money you know hey i'm just saying corn base that's a real crypto ad anyway uh that's that's pretty much all i got it the ice poseidon thing is fucking crazy every single celebrity who's getting involved with nfts i i feel like are only doing it for money. You know, I feel like the only real value I've seen from NFTs is increasing capital. And the promise of you increasing your wealth from NFTs, I feel like is overhyped. I was on Twitter and the biggest stories, the trending tab, was a bunch of stories about, uh, you know, this 19-year-old woman turned $10 into 150 k by selling these PNGs. It's just like, fuck, dude. It's just a, you know... This isn't how it is in the in, in reality. There's no universe where everybody's just like everybody buys an NFT and then and then the entire floor goes up and now we're all rich. That's not it can't work like that. It can't work like that. It's just a few wealthy people who are who are controlling the assets. You know, two people run the Bored Ape Yacht Club and one of them wrote a World of Warcraft book. That's your guy. That he wrote a world a, a World of Warcraft book. It's basically knock off Asmongold. I don't know. I, I, I cringe every time I see it, but I also have to ask myself if I'm a part of the problem. So anyway, let me know. That's why this channel exists for me to talk shit. And then you guys can talk shit back to me. Am I am I the same? Am I just as cringe? All right. I mean, I do have a cryptocurrency sponsors and I also buy super overpriced Pokemon things that I flaunt. Am I no different than than cringy Matt Damon and Jimmy Fallon? You decide. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Um, like if NFTs cringe and comment if, I don't know, you feel like it. Have a good day. Bye.